What is up, Nation? Noah here back again today. And yes, I know, once again, I'm not sitting at the desk to start a video, but that's because I'm running through the collections, guys, giving you updated looks at the collection, the displays, all that good stuff. So we've done the full room tour. We've done the Star Wars Funko Pop display. We've done the wrestling figure display. But now the last one I got for a little while is, where is it? Boom, back there. Not the best lighting, so we'll stay here for now. The wrestling Funko Pop display slash collection video. Majority over there, a couple over here, a couple down there. So I'm going to take you guys around the room, give you guys an in-depth look at the WWE and New Japan Pro Wrestling Funko Pops in the collection. It's going to be a great video. And the collection has updated since the last time we made this video. New pops have been added, some have been cut. So it's going to be a nice updated video for you guys to show the wrestling Fun Funko Pop collection, excuse me. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me over on Instagram at Noah Nation Vlogs and go check out NoahNationShop.com for all your Noah Nation and toy collector merchandise. And let's get in to this video. Alrighty, so we will kick this off with the extra stuff, right, before we get into the main uh, part of the collection. So up here on top, the AEW figures, which AEW really needs some Funko Pops, man. Funko, if there's a license to get in 2022, let's get some AEW Funko Pops. You guys want more of my money, that's the way to do it. But up here uh, is one of the Rey Mysterio displays in the collection that I've showed you guys recently here on the channel. But as you guys can see, we have one of the old and the new Rey Mysterio Funko Pops. I actually have two of these Rey Mysterio Pops. One's in the box and then one I display loose here. Um, so that is, like I said, the new Rame Sierra Pop that came out uh, during the summertime, I believe. Uh, it wasn't too long ago uh, this year. And then, of course, this is one of three older Rey Mysterio Pops. This is, I guess, the common one. Uh, there is a San Diego Comic-Con as well as a 7-Eleven exclusive. I don't have either of those, but I do have this one. It, it, the last time I checked, it is still the most expensive pop in my collection. I don't remember what it's at. I believe it's over $200, but I cannot tell you the exact price off the top of my head. But yeah, you got those two figures right there. And then we will move on down here. Let me slide a few things out of the way. Let me slide down here. Not the Seinfeld pops, but down here. Yeah, I know not a very prominent spot in the collection, but you know, they're, it's a, they're just the four of them. I've been staring at the four of these, you know, these boxes for the last freaking four years. So they're just, you know, down here for now. I uh, got to put new stuff on display here and there, but here are the new Japan pro wrestling Funko pops, the uh, elite, the bullet club at the time. Uh, you have the young bucks right here. Um, in the black and red, and then down there, of course, behind the Mickey Mouse, <laughs> is the Hot Topic exclusive uh, purple and yellow attire Young Bucks uh, with the Bullet Club on the uh, bandana of Mick Jackson there, which is very cool. And then you can't let me get this Crash Bandicoot Funko Soda can out of the way, but there's the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, which, I, man, I, I would love a, a, an AEW Cody with blonde hair. It would just be so awesome. We really need that. And then there, of course, is the Kenny Omega uh, Funko Pops. So there's the Rey Mysterios, there's the New Japan Pro Wrestling Pops, but let's jump over to the other side of the room and I'll give you guys a closer look at the rest of the WWE Funko Pops. Alrighty guys, so here is an overview of the WWE Funko Pop collection. A lot of them displayed loose for the Really the first time, this is probably the most uh, WWE Pops I've had displayed loose at one time. Uh, and then there is pretty, those are pretty much all empty boxes that they're on top of besides that Jericho and Cena, which I will, uh, you know, pull out and show you guys. But yeah, this is the WWE Funko Pop collection right there, not the AW Series 1 figures that I still need protectors for. Um, but anyway, let's just start at the top. I'll go one by one um, since this is a uh, collection slash display video. And then, like I said, I'll pull out that Jericho and Cena and just give you guys a closer look at everything here so starting at the top uh, i guess i'll go like kind of obviously you can see what's behind the loose figures but i'll just kind of go through the loose ones and start and then go through the box ones so obviously uh loose and i do have the boxes for all these as you guys can see um these are just the ones that i'm displaying loose but we have the nature boy rick flair triple h randy orton batista evolution all together right there which i love and then you got kurt angle and then of course back here you have the chase mr mcmahon you have Ultimate Warrior, which I never bought, <laughs> never got the price tag off of, and I've had that for like three years. Um, I don't know what it's worth now, but I got definitely fourteen dollars was a good deal at the time. Um, you got Sting, the only at Target Ric Flair in the pink robe. You have the only at Walmart Brock Lesnar. A lot of older ones up here, as you can see. And then back there, you have the Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, real quick, I will uh, take out the Jericho and Cena. Even though you guys have seen them a million times, but I'll give you guys a closer look at those two figures real quick. All right, so I'm an idiot. The Jericho is actually displayed loose right there. So we're just going to put that back down. But there, here's the John Cena, number one in the WWE Funko Pop collection. Uh, just, you know, not displaying it, you know, with everything else right now. Just because 
you know, you got to mix up the displays and everything. But uh, yeah, I still wanted to show it to you guys uh, because it technically isn't a complete collection video if I'm not showing you every figure. But now let's move down here. All right, so starting off with the loose pops, you have one of my favorite WWE Funko Pops in the collection. That is the Breath the Hitman Heart. And next to, honestly, another one of my favorite pops in the WWE collection, Jerry the King Lawler. Then you have the WrestleMania 12 Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon, and then, like I just showed you guys, Chris Jericho. But moving back over here, uh, we will start with the GameStop exclusive Diamond Collection Ric Flair. I've been loving the, uh, the, the GameStop exclusives. There's been a lot of them this year, and uh, the multiple of them have came with championships. So it's been uh, very, very nice. Well, not multiple of them have came with championships, but they've all came with the uh, pins, is what I meant to say, uh, which has been cool. But anyway, you got the GameStop exclusive DX Triple H, which that comes with the SummerSlam 09 pin. You have the Eddie Guerrero, which comes with the WrestleMania 20 pin. There's the other Rey Mysterio there that I was talking about earlier. And then you have the Entertainment Earth uh, 25th Anniversary of The Rock, which was a recent pickup. Showed that in my November Toy Haul video, which you guys can go check out. And then there is the original, well, not the original, uh, but I guess the old uh, style Rock Pop. And then those are all just empty boxes. So we will move down here to the third shelf, which we'll start with The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Let me not drop my phone. <laughs> the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Uh, then you have The Undertaker. You got Kane, which uh, is just super badass, all, all lined up next to each other. They're so cool. You have the Amazon exclusive Roman Reigns. And then you have Edge, which was a Funko Pop I uh, waited a while for. So I'm glad we finally got one this year. Uh, behind Edge, you have Drew McIntyre, one of my uh, favorite and a uh, few guys that actually uh, care to go out of my way and, you know, catch the highlights of. Uh, I, I would I would never waste my uh, my hours watching current day WWE live, but anytime I'm gonna watch a, a highlight or two, I always like watching Drew's uh, guy I've been a fan of for a very long time. John Cena, anyway, uh, in the Yankees gear. You have the FYE exclusive Demon Finn Balor, the Amazon exclusive Boneyard Match Undertaker, and then of course back there you have the Hardy Boys two pack Matt and Jeff, and then one more shelf down here. Which, as you guys can see, not a lot of pops on, but we do have, we'll start here, the WrestleMania 3 uh, Funko Lunchbox with Hogan and Andre. And then right down there, you have Hulk Hogan. You have, of course, the 6-inch Andre the Giant. Moving on, you have one of my favorite Funko releases of 2021. That is the Monday Night Raw ring with Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. Absolutely love that set. Uh, there is the 7-Eleven Stone Cold Steve Austin exclusive. Next to that is the Walmart exclusive, The Rock and Mankind from the Royal Rumble 2000. And then, of course, back there is the WrestleMania 17 uh, Funko lunchbox with Austin and The Rock. But overall, that is the updated wrestling figure, or excuse me, not wrestling figure, wrestling Funko Pop collection. I should have watched um, my older uh, wrestling Funko Pop collection video before this to see how much the collection has changed. Because, you know, I have cut a lot of pops from the collection this year collection this year excuse me and really refocusing what i'm collecting and uh besides you know the very common uh, or i should say uh, not very common you know uh current day guy like a mcintyre or the Balor that i've had for the longest time as you guys can see this is pretty much majority legends and that's really what i'm focusing uh with what i'm buying my my wwe funko pops is just you know legends and uh guys i grew up with and just uh, you know guys not from the current day because i just don't watch current day WWE it just doesn't have my interest but I've, I sold a lot of the uh if not the majority of the current day guys I think the only guys besides like you know Edge and you know guys who have mul wrestled in multiple uh, uh generations if you want to say uh like I got Roman the Fiend Drew McIntyre the Fiend's not even around anymore but you know Finn Balor like there's very few guys that are still uh in the WWE that you know aren't from you know a, a previous era like the Ruthless Aggression era Attitude era stuff like that but uh, since I refocused my collection, there is some Legend uh, Funko Pops that I don't have that I do plan on trying to check off the list in 2022. I just wasn't really uh, in a rush or interested to uh, try to, you know, fill any holes uh, in the remainder of this year. But just off the top of my head, like, I, I have that old Razor Ramon. I'd love to get the Diesel Funko Pop, so that'll be one of them. I had the Mean Gene Okerlund Pop uh, for a little while, but I sold it. But I'd love to rebuy it and uh, put it with the Hogan and Andre. So just stuff like that to uh, fill out the collection. There's more of them that I can't think of right now, but uh, eventually we'll start knocking some uh, Funko Pops that I need. Uh, eventually, like I said, off the list to uh, fill holes slash just, you know, get the ones I want in the WWE Funko Pop collection. But for now, that is the entire WWE and New Japan Pro Wrestling, technically, Funko Pop collection and display. 
All right, guys, so before I get out of here, I wanted to remind you guys that tonight, Monday, December 13th, I'm going to be live right back here on the Noah Nation YouTube channel because we are going to be doing our very first charity live stream for Toys for Tots. Now, myself and H2O Wrestling here in New Jersey have teamed up uh, to do a Toys for Tots toy drive this coming weekend at their Merry Effing Christmas events that will be live on IWTV. If you're there in Williamstown, New Jersey, you'll be able to donate toys for Toys for Tots but I wanted to up the ante. So tonight, Monday, December 13th at 8 p.m. Eastern time, figure out what that is your time if you're elsewhere. Uh, I'll be live right here on my YouTube channel, like I said, doing a charity live stream for Toys for Tots. Now, what that means is uh, at, during my live streams in the chat, like pr pretty much at the very bottom, there's a little dollar sign uh, where people can, you know, donate and support me and all that good stuff, which, uh, you know, I'm very thankful for to have that, you know, privilege to have that on my channel. But I want to use it to the advantage of somebody else in this case. So any money that is donated during the stream tonight, 110% of it is going to be going to buy toys for Toys for Tots for me to then bring uh, a part of, you know, the Noah Nation and, you know, something for you guys to give back um, to the Toys for Tots uh, toy drive this weekend. So tonight, definitely be sure to be back on the YouTube channel. Turn the notifications on so you don't miss it. I want this to be the biggest stream I've done yet, not for my sake, but for all the kids out there who, you know, don't have the chance to, you know, get the get all the toys and stuff that they want. We can, you know, try to give back uh, the Noah Nation as a whole, not just me, but all you guys who support the channel. Um, you guys can, you know, come in the live stream, donate any amount of money you want, that, you know, collective number at the end of it, I'm going to take, I'm going to go buy some brand new toys on behalf of all of you guys and myself, and we're going to donate them to Toys for Tots and give some kids a merry effing Christmas, and it's going to be freaking awesome. So stay tuned to the live stream, or I should say stay tuned to the channel for the live stream tonight. I really hope to see you guys there. It's going to be fun. We're going to be playing some video games. We're going to be chatting up. It's going to be a great time. But anyways, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me over on Instagram at Noah Nation Vlogs, and go check out NoahNationShop.com for your Noah Nation and toy collector merchandise. I hope to see you guys tonight in the live stream, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.